Hey, St. Joseph's, it's Father John here. Happy Easter. It is Thursday of the octave of Easter, and of course, the fifth week of our social distancing experiment. And now it's time for the Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The disciples of Jesus recounted what had taken place along the way, and how they, and how they had come to recognize him in the breaking of the bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones as you, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written, that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Now, there's a, a famous patristic quote, uh, a quote from one of the fathers of the church, Tertullian, and it is this, is that the flesh, flesh, is the hinge of salvation. That it is our bodies and our souls, both created by God, that are saved. And we only have salvation through the incarnation, through the second person of the Trinity, taking on flesh, taking on humanity in the person of Jesus Christ. And here we see, in this beautiful uh, gospel, that it's the humanity of Jesus Christ that brings peace to the apostles. They're terrified. They think they're seeing a ghost. And it's, it's basically, how is, he, how is he bringing in peace? How is he bringing them salvation? It's through his sacred humanity. It's through the humanity of Jesus Christ. Basically, look at my hands, look at my feet, touch me and see that I'm not a ghost. And they're still kind of like mal mouths agape, like, who, what, who is he? And so then he has, he has basically, he, he eats with them, right? He has a piece of baked fish. Now in seminary, one of the pillars or dimensions of formation is the, is the human pillar. So that the, the Catholic Church seeks to form men to, to be pastors, to be, have pastoral hearts, to be spiritual, to be human, and of course to be intellectual. And so one of the, the main reason for that priests work on their humanity is that their humanity must be a bridge and not an obstacle for people encountering Jesus Christ. So that when you know people are my in my presence, that I'm I should be my humanity should be a bridge to that person to encountering Christ through me. And so in the same way we see that here beautifully on display, that it's Jesus' humanity that is the literally the bridge of from earth to heaven, but here it's the bridge from terror and being startled and think you're seeing a ghost to to peace. It's that bridge from fear to peace. Um, and that we then must also, and if, well, first off, we're getting that, that the humanity of Jesus Christ is continued through his holy Catholic Church, that we are the body of Christ, and that we, as the Catholic Church, make visible through our good works, through the sacraments, through everything that we do as a church, make visible the resurrection of Jesus Christ. We must take that, take that seriously. That's an objective reality, but we must make sure that our subjective lives show forth that objective reality. And the second is we must then look at our own lives. Is our humanity conformed to Christ and is then a bridge so that when others encounter us, they encounter Christ? Or is it an obstacle uh, for people encountering Christ? And we must then like give to the give to the Lord those things that are that are obstacles that are keeping people away from Christ, those things in our humanity, whether it's our temper, whether it's some kind of sin, um, you know, whether it's uh, a certain a shyness or something, that we, that we must allow God to take our humanity 
and be at peace with our humanity so that can be a bridge for people. And remember that it's not becoming, that becoming spiritual is not rejecting your body. It's actually embracing it because your body is created by God and God gave it to us as a gift. And the flesh is the hinge of salvation. And so part of being a good Christian is, is being at peace with our humanity, being at peace with the, the gifts of our humanity, the gift of our bodies, the gift of our, our fleshliness, if you will. So, St. Joseph's love you, praying for you, offering Mass for you. Confessions are still Monday through Saturday in the wooded lot from 12 to 1. Monday through Friday, the Cody Center is open from um, 9 to 5. And Saturday and Sunday, the uh, Historic Church is open. We'll be streaming, live streaming the, the Sunday Mass, Divine Mercy Sunday at 10 o'clock. And we'll also be streaming, live streaming the Hour of Mercy starting at 2.30 on Sunday. God bless you.